you see, the issue about an inquiry, Mr. Speaker, inquiry, this is a matter that went before the Brazilian courts as well as the courts in the United States. Fully ventilated issue. So they are recommending that if I am of the view that Harold Lovell would have done something wrong, we should have an investigation. I'm saying to you here that because Harold Lovell would have gone there in his private capacity as a lawyer, that he would not have done anything illegal. So the issue of a public inquiry does not arise. In my particular case, Mr. Speaker, there is no litigation against me. <laughs> in fact, I travel freely to the United States. And even Kaz Roy, who one can perhaps speculate, may have been involved in that particular transaction and that it was not a CIP transaction. He too seemed to have actually, well, he's able to travel freely. He was here up to recently, so there's no case against him either. So the question is, what is the basis for this public inquiry? If, for example, Mr. Speaker, that a firm, uh, let's say, um, allegation was made against me and there was some form of circumstantial evidence, then I can understand. But the very crook said in court, and the, the documents are there, that they never held any discussions with me. Now, if anyone understood the process of withholding information, and let us understand too, Mr. Speaker, first of all, there was no mens rea. The government at all times and government officials acted in accordance with the laws of Antigua and Barbuda. So contrary to the request of the Brazilians, the documentation was submitted to Brazilian law enforcement. Now, if indeed, Mr. Speaker, the documentation was not submitted, then one can say, well, okay, fine. There must have been a reason why we did not share the information. 